is that so whereas the old one we had the in dash stick which is a bit like a kind of um you know pull out um what do you want to call it i can't remember like they were in the renault yeah. 4 um this one they move it to a more conventional gear shift position and you can still regenerate so put it into b and you can, the brakes are now actually working so it's pulling power out of the yeah. brakes when they regenerate okay so the hybrid system in this car how much of the time can you spend in electric mode well ah this is the other thing final point really to note so this car now comes with um three different modes so now we're in normal mode yeah. if you point the camera down here we've got um two other different modes power mode which makes it much more responsive to the point that if you boot it off the lights it was actually really quite quick and you can myth a lot of people which i've enjoyed doing or you can put it in eco mode which seems to me subjectively much much sort of more um has much more of an impact than the system in the the insight did so you can it really blends the throttle out i can actually prod the throttle quite hard and it hardly responds it will gradually eke you forward and if you then press the ev button as well and you see that little telltale light yeah. on the dash if there's enough power in the battery Ooh. and if i go away so can slowly we just drive around as an ev now? so we're just going to drive around as an ev and if i accelerate relatively slowly i'm going straight on here right sorry so i forgot to tell you which charmer now is not working Turn right. Up to 30 miles an hour, and for a couple of miles, we can drive totally in electric mode. Great. Um, That's so much fun. Which is, is actually quite... It's really quite good. Because I also, when I was in the Fusion Hybrid, that was my favourite electric car I've driven up to now. And, hybrid car. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and it was just so cool to try and get it up to about... 38 miles an well, hour. Well, it becomes like, like a game, like... and that's why this they've introduced this system. So you can see as I accelerate, if I go over that line halfway and towards this power thing, that means I'm more likely to get the engine to kick in. So I'm trying with the way I'm driving yeah. to keep that. It's not it as pretty as the Ford Smart Gauge, is it? Well, no, it's all green. It's and not. It's, it's not, not the not same. Almost not as interesting as the, the Honda Insight. Blue uh, and green thing, or well, not the glowing green blue thing. That's true. They haven't, but I think it's arguably it's less gimmicky, and I, I do find that oh, you're actually, driving like a Prius driver now. That that van behind us will be really uh, now it's the act right. Okay, excessive speed. Too hard. Okay, so I can I'm probably on the throttle quite a lot here, and we're not actually accelerating that much. Whereas if I build up a bit of well, if these guys got out of the way. I put it into power mode, yeah. and then I do the same thing, the performance. we okay. actually accelerate much more quickly. Yeah. So it's quite interesting the way it behaves, like if you, like getting out the end of my drive in the at morning. At the roundabout, turn left. Okay. So at a roundabout, where I'm needed to get out in a hurry, I found myself flicking it into power mode to make sure I've got, like, I can get away from the line sure. really quickly. Um, so is there a button somewhere that takes you to the nearest um, Whole Foods or organic supermarket? It should be a point of interest function in the navigation, <laughs> shouldn't it, really? Yes. 